What's up guys, I'm here at my new place. I have my own room now. So this is called The Range. This is where all my shit is basically. I got some stuff hung up in the back there. Got me gloving up over the desk. But uh, this is essentially my room where I have all of my airsoft shit. So I'm trying out my QRF right now because it has been having feeding issues in the past. One's down. Nope, not out, she just does that sometimes. KWA QRF Mod 3, I love this gun. It's just the feeding issues are so annoying. Do you hear Do you hear my fucking magazines being a piece of shit? These goddamn fucking magazines. I have noticed right now, I have a fully charged 11-1 light bone here, 0.25 gram tracers with the Bifrost. I'm just gonna shoot it normally here. I'm shooting out the window, so. See there? It's like skipping every other shot. So I have noticed when I grip the mag and just pull it back a little bit, just so you hear it normally. If I just pull it back, just like that, it's gonna feed every shot. So, I have a parts kit coming in to hopefully, what I'm gonna do is take the hop up here and just put like some O-rings in there and maybe push it back further into the nozzle. If that doesn't work, I might have to take it apart, look at the nozzle alignment, which I'm nervous to do because I'm not very good at taking things apart. Well, no, I'm good at taking things apart, not very good at putting them back together. So we'll see if that fixes it. If not, this might be rip and piece QRF. We'll see. All right, guys, welcome to the range. I have the QRF here as well as the parts kit that I ordered almost a fucking month ago. Finally got it today. So we're gonna take this apart real quick and see if we can get it working. I think it's gonna be a really easy fix. I'm hoping it's gonna be a really easy fix, but we'll see. So the first thing to do here is to just pop the body pin. After that, the upper receiver will slide off just like that. And then the gearbox, not gearbox. Inner barrel, hop up bucking, and hop up unit. So we're gonna set these off to the side. So here it is in all its glory. This is an upgraded inner barrel with uh, bucking. The uh, spring there. We did already have an O-ring on it to try and get it working, which didn't really work anyways. But the hop up, I'm going to turn completely off. And now it is off. So what I'm going to do is take this parts kit. And hopefully what it's going to be able to do is stabilize the barrel as well as put some sort of pressure on it. Help align it better. I hope that the O-rings help to stabilize it in the barrel. I'm not a tech, so I don't exactly know techy things to say, but here we go. Just adding those O-rings on there. Let it focus. Yes, you can kind of see that on there. So we got five in this pack, plus the one that I got from Paul, so six total. Now, what you're supposed to do with these <coughs> O-rings, supposedly, is keep adding them on and fit them in the barrel and and keep going until they don't fit anymore, which is a little interesting, but slide this down in there. It is fit, it's a pretty stiff fit. So I'll try to put it now on the lower receiver. Attach together just fine. Slide back here, and we can actually lock that. There should be no wobble at all in the hop up chamber, which there's not. So we're gonna load it up here, test it out. We got 0.25 gram tracer BBs and one QRS mod 3 magazine. Moment of truth will it feed? What do you guys think? Is it gonna feed? find out together. So I'm just gonna shoot it into the pillow down here. We just wanna watch the... 
Still skipping, as you can see. I hold the magazine backwards in there. It does feed, which means it's not yet there. So what I'm gonna try now is a combination of spring and O-rings. I feel like it's just not enough O-rings to really make that difference. The length of the spring compared to what's on there, the spring is longer. So if I put this on there like that, maybe, maybe it'll help, maybe it won't. I don't know, I'm not a real tech. This is supposed to go in further and it comes back out, which means that there is too much in there. So if you try to slide the receiver on the gun, Go on. No, that came off, okay. It's a very tight fit. I think there's just maybe one or two O-rings on there that shouldn't be. So as you can see right there, you can see the kind of gap. Let me turn on this side, it'll be easier to show See the gap right there? So this is supposed to come up flush and it does not, which means if I take an O-ring or two off of it, I might be able to get it more properly aligned. Because before I only had one O-ring on it. And right now there is five, going down to four. Plus spring, I bet this is gonna be able to fit on there. If it's gonna fix it, the feeding issue, I don't know if it'll necessarily fix the feeding issue, but I bet we can at least get the lower and upper attached. Oh, yep, there it goes. All right, it's back on, fully. So we're gonna mag up again. Moment of truth. Once again, just aiming into some pillows on the ground here. Not gonna grab the magazine, we're just gonna. <laughs> okay, just stop feeding for some reason. Oh, there it goes. Boys, I think we did it! Oh! It's working! It's working! It's feeding! Oh, now it's out of ammo. Let me reload it. We're gonna try one more magazine just to make sure that that was not a spoof. Uh, full mag. You can see here in the BB window, the BBs are in there. So now, moment of truth, I'm gonna shoot down into this pillow. Just kind of 